uh, this is John from NFT Base. My appreciation to uh, Ms. Jen Turner and Ms. Raquel Candeyes for giving me a chance to uh, presentation. So let's get it started. So NFT Base is the DAO-based metaverse marketplace and community for NFT. So we believe that NFT is a very good way of funding for people who can use the resource most efficiently. And IP, uh, NFT can be a good way to make a social good. So we want to make the world where human creativity is fully respected. So here's our keywords. We want to be an NFT marketplace player in NFT area. And we want to add more value uh, by implementing, by integrating Metaverse 3D art gallery on our platform. So we pursue eventually DAO, decentralized autonomous organization. And our ultimate goal is we will be a community in NFT uh, area. So all of this uh, should work on IPFS because we believe that decentralization is really important. And by doing this, we can uh, make our core values come true, creativity, beauty, and public interest as well. So when we do, when you say we are going to make a NFT marketplace, and then a lot of people are asking me, hey, what is different from existing NFT marketplace? So here's our differentiation strategies. So we want to make a change. We want to make a difference. So the first one is metaverse. We want to give sincere artists more chances to sell their NFT items. So what is current problems? Uh, so there are so many copycat NFT artworks. Uh, so it means there are a lot of supply, more than demand. And this cause low quality NFT, NFT problem. And there are no chances for sincere artists who want to display and who want to sell their NFT items on marketplace. So here's our solution. So we want to make a, we want to, uh, we want to curate qualified artists and we want to make only qualified NFT items listed on our platform. So to do this, we will make a verification system for artists. And this is done by users not by NFT base itself. And we will make a invitation system like Clubhouse application. And we want to make a curating system like Steemit. So we want to give artists more chances to display their NFT items on Metaverse 3D art gallery or even VR gallery as well. So under the image, you can see there are 3D art gallery places. So you can uh, see how it works. So let's move to the next step. So the, the second thing is DAO. We want to make a DAO and we want to make, uh, we want to give more power to users to make them be part of NFT base. So current problems are, uh, there are no enough motivation to contribute for, for the platform and artists are only focusing on their NFT sale. There are no space there are no chances for users to contribute themselves for the platform. So our solution is uh, we want to make a governance system by governance token. We want to give more power to users through governance token, making users participate in the platform by giving curating power and voting power and invitation tickets through the governance token. So we want to make users feel they are part of our platform. And yeah, this is our uh, strategies. And the third one is we want to be a community as a marketplace. So we want to make users interact with an NFT base because uh, there, even though there are a lot of artists in existing marketplaces, but artists need to advertise their NFT on Twitter or Instagram and other platforms. So we believe that there is an external economy effect on existing SNS. So if we make them interact in the platform itself, it will make a huge platform effect and it will be very good strategy. So our solution is uh, to make users interact in our platform and we want to be a community where artists and users can get feedbacks from other people. So to do this, we will make 
troll box in 3D art galleries and uh, we want to make a personal message system on our platform and also a posting system on our profile, user's profile. So this is a very good effective way to make users uh, interact each others. So this is an overall view of our differentiation strategies. As you can see, uh, all of these are marketplace platforms. But uh, we are going to make a metaverse community and DAO system. So this is our overall differentiation strategies. And eventually, through all of these strategies, we want to make a world where human creativity is fully respected. And this is done, this is, uh, can be done through IPFS, the next internet. I'm going to show how NFT Base is using IPFS. There are three steps in here. And the first one is uploading NFT Base website on IPFS. And the second one is integrating IPFS hash with nftbase.eth ENS domain. And the third one is storage of NFT metadata on IPFS. And these are uh, how NFT Base is using IPFS. So to save time, I've already downloaded IPFS and set it, set it up on my Mac computer. And as you can see here, this is a IPFS folder and I downloaded my NFT base website resource in the folder. So let's get it started from terminal. So we need to move to desktop and uh, go IPFS. And as you can see here, we've already uh, in the folder and we can now uh, start IPFS daemon. So it takes a little time, but if you wait a little bit and then the daemon is running and we can move to uh, web UI up here. So let's go to the web UI. And as you can see here, uh, my computer is connected to IPFS and I'm ready to upload my website on IPFS. So let's get, uh, let's import our resource here and uh, because as we are, we want to upload our folder here and so yeah. Yeah, this is what I downloaded before and uploaded. Yeah, upload it. And once it's done, we, we got the hash. So this is the, far, the first part uh, that we are using IPFS. And it means that our website is pinned on IPFS. Uploaded our website resource on IPFS and you got the hash here. So we move to ENS domain website and Let's search nftbase.eth. Yeah. So as the owner of the ENS domain, you can set uh, your IPFS hash here. And to save time, I've already uh, registered IPFS hash here. So now you can uh, integrate your IPFS hash with your ENS domain. And once you access to website nftbase.eth.link uh, this is website is pinned on IPFS and as you can see here you can access to our website with this domain this is awesome and all features is working pretty well right now and even you can log in here and it works pretty well. So this website is uh, being hosted on IPFS. And this is the second part that we are using IPFS right now. Last part, how we are using IPFS is related to uh, storage of metadata of NFT. On our platform, there is create menu here. And once you click it, you can make single NFT tokens, NFT item or multiple NFT item. Once you click single NFT item, and then you can create NFT according to ERC 721 standard, you can upload whatever it is, PNG, GIF, 
MP4, MP3. It's okay. So I'm going to upload my our NFT base logo here. And after putting all the information, you can create your NFT. And because we believe that decentralization is really important, the file metadata should be uploaded on IPFS. So these are how we are using IPFS. So thank you very much for watching my video and have a great day. Thank you, IPFS community.